So James, a 4-0 win through to the next round, record attendance, what a day. Oh, great day to be fair. Uh, the year today, grabbed a same, similar goal from last year, uh, 96th minute, done the same today. I think but the most important part really that we can push on from is a clean sheet. Uh, we struggled, struggled doing 90 minutes, keeping a clean sheet. It just shows to the how strong of a team we are, and there's people knocking on the door from the bench, which could fit in any team in this league, to be fair, so good start, great start. And you scored a goal from your own half, that must be the headline news. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, like I say, a year today, a year this week today, very similar goal, uh, and then to do it again, I thought it was just a one-off last year, but to do it again is just, I mean, going to have a good night tonight, to say the least, yeah. And how much of that goal do you actually remember? Can you sort of tell the story? I think, a bit, you think? to be fair, I saw, it head, I saw it heading over the keeper and into the back of the net, and by then I was away. Uh, the next thing I know, I'm on my knees and everyone's jumping on me. Uh, it was a bit of a blur. The adrenaline kicked in. I didn't know where I was going to be fair. I think I could have still been running. I don't know Washington now, if I'm honest. Uh, the, buzz was, the buzz was phenomenal. So, yeah, brilliant. And that goal, obviously, you mentioned you scored a similar goal last year. Are they the best two goals you've ever scored, would you say? Yeah, yeah, of course. Most important two goals as well. Uh, I think the Vars is a massive thing for me. Last year I got very close. Uh, this year I want to give it another go. I know the lads are more than possible to do it, so it'll go for me, yeah. And obviously you were in a Northern League dressing room, winning dressing room last year in March. Yeah. Do you think this side have the credentials to do the same? Oh, definitely, definitely. It's, we've got a massive squad. It shows by the... The four that wasn't even in the squad today, uh, them lads again could easily could easily fit in any squad in this league. Uh, we've got a great squad, and I mean, if games back up like they did last year, we've got more than enough to go ahead and, and plod on with games and keep on the winning streak. And you made constant runs. Um, how uh, on the counter attack? You're sort of leading the counter attacks. How confident are you in your own ability? I mean, <laughs> Scotty spoke to me before the game uh, in the dressing room before the game. It was a massive talk about. Just give James a ball, give James a ball, give James a ball. And I think a little bit of frustration over the last few weeks as we're trying to play out from the back and instead of just playing simple passes into people's feet and trusting them. Uh, like I say, the, the lads are just jumping together still. So it looks good, we're jumping together well. Uh, and like I say, lads have got massive confidence in each other. And when people are picking up the ball, there's other runs off the ball, making space for you to go into. So it opens up massive gaps and you just, I mean, you keep on plodding through. I mean, when it's when pushing up to 90 minutes, your legs get heavy. but. The adrenaline to win and the determination to keep going with the ball keeps you going, really, and you get your second win. City Liverpool's chairman, he was stood next to me the whole game. He, looked, he watched the highlights from last week. He singled you out as the best player from last week, so it must be some sort of compliment. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a confidence booster. It's good to hear from others. Uh, then again, I mean, I'm on the same level, the same pole with any other lads in the dressing room. Without the other lads, I couldn't do it on my own. So, again, it's a team. I mean, fair enough, might get singled out, but he could single on another day, he could single any other lads out across the top quality lads. And you seem to pick up some sort of an eye injury near the end? What's yeah, that yeah, just a, a finger to the eye. Uh, that'll not stop me tonight when I'm dancing across Newcastle dance floor. It'll definitely not stop me. <laughs> was it similar? Because there was something that happened in the Premier League. Do you remember that picture? I think it was like Jan Vertonghen had like a finger in his eye or something. Yeah, yeah. Was uh, it similar to that? To be fair, I was driving with a ball, I didn't even see it coming. Uh, caught me off guard and I'm sure Kim will be able to sort me out she put ice on it which knocked me a little bit dizzy uh, but like I say when your adrenaline and your confidence is going the way it is there's nothing there's nothing stopping you even if it's an injury there's nothing stopping you and next round surely want another big game like that oh massive keep them coming the lads are flying we're all flying as a team confidence is flying what's happening around the club not just in the dressing room around the club is I mean the confidence around the club is Phenomenal. So we'll take whatever we get thrown at. James, thank you very much. Cheers, we're